All right, so with this Milwaukee 18 volt chainsaw, the power is incredible, like uh, we talked about. Um, now, the one thing that I have noticed by using, now we use the five and the nine, you know, it's still cut pretty, pretty good. I mean, obviously what I tried to show you is how much more torque, how much more power you get out of this saw with the um, high output batteries. You probably get very close to the same performance with the six amp hour. Um, battery and but the one thing too let me tell you going down to these to the five amp hour battery the weight difference is really noticeable um, that's the one thing you know people ask me about the saw compared to the Makita or the you know DeWalt this is the heaviest of the bunch okay with the 12 amp hour battery you know what I'm saying but if you do get the six amp hour high output maybe there's kits coming out where they Maybe throw two of the high output batteries in with, with certain kits. Who knows down the road, or maybe you just buy them. That'll definitely make this saw uh, a lot lighter. <clears throat> you know, a couple of people were talking about, you know, they kind of wanted to get this maybe to go up on a ladder. They want like a battery powered chainsaw, you know, to, um, like I said, cut some limbs off some trees, go up um, on, like I said, on, on some ladders and stuff. I think it's a little heavy, um, you know, you're looking at around 14, 15 pounds, um, kind of heavy for a, you know, pruning saw, so to speak. But the one thing I did want to mention is using the 9 and the 5, these batteries got a little hot. There was absolutely no, this thing was cool as a cucumber, the uh, 12 amp hour battery. The 5 and the 9. Especially, actually, the nine got hotter than the five, um, but nothing, not super hot or anything, but it did get warm. Made 12, 13, 14 cuts. This thing, cool as a cucumber. So a lot of people 
like I said, we, we did the video on the 12, is how can this battery stay so cool um, with the thermal protection that, you know, is inside this battery. They did a great job, Milwaukee, with this battery. Um, and the saw, too, by far, you know, we tested the Makita. We tested the, the DeWalt. We've tested a lot of chainsaws on this channel. This, by far, now I haven't tried the Ego, so, you know, but... Power tool company wise, this is the most powerful saw you can get on the market, no doubt. Um, it's just a powerhouse. Um, and like I said, you know, compared to gas, it's comparable. You know, it, a gas powered saw is going to cut faster than this saw. Okay, they say up to a 40cc, which is a mid range powered chainsaw. You know, I have a steel that's 32cc. And, uh, it's comparable, um, you know, but you got to remember that steel is $199, $179 for a 32cc steel 16 inch chainsaw, um, $399, but the ease of just, you know, it's, it's eight o'clock in the morning here and, you know, I could never do this with a gas chainsaw, obviously in this, this type of neighborhood. So there's a lot of pros to these lithium ion, um, chainsaws we're gonna have a full review this is just me chit chatting a little bit Yeah, Okay, this is the tool that's in there to tighten the chain and bar. Goes in there. 
just like that. Pull it out, just come straight out. We just cut down these trees. One, two, and three's down there. But All right, so real quick, I do want to mention uh, a couple things before we wrap this up here. Um, great saw, again, very powerful. Um, we tested different batteries. We had, like I said, the 12-amp-hour, 12, 12-amp-hour, uh, 12 9 amp hour, 5 amp hour. The thing that really surprised me was, now obviously there was some power difference um, with the batteries, um, no doubt. But I was pretty surprised, you know, even with the with the five amp hour battery, again, you guys gotta remember this is an 18 volt chainsaw. You know what I'm saying? It, you know, there's obviously the 40 volt DeWalt, 36 volt Makita, there's 56 volt Egos, there's 80 volt you know Greenworks and Cobalt um, you know chainsaws out there, but an 18 volt chainsaw. Now again. You're going to get much better performance with the 12 amp hour high output, the 6 amp hour high output. But I was expecting a bigger, um, a bigger power difference going from to the nine and the five. Um, but obviously, you did notice a little bit. I'm not saying it was you know equal, but it really surprised me on how well this saw uh, cut with the five and the nine amp hour battery. So you don't, you know. Obviously, with this kit, you get the 12 amp hour battery with it. But you know, if you got a couple fives, maybe you got a nine with your trimmer, your hedge trimmer, your blower, or whatever, you're going to be just fine with those batteries. All right, one other thing, real quick. As you can see here, now of the power tool chainsaws, but you can actually use any type of lithium ion chainsaw. Uh, this is a, a, a fairly long, large. Um, I don't want to say real heavy, you know, it's 14 pounds, I think 13.9. Um, it's not a super light chainsaw. Now, obviously it has the 12 amp hour battery. If you go down to the nine or to the five, you know, obviously the six high output battery would definitely help with the weight a little bit, but you know, it's not something you kind of want to go up on ladders with again, you know, some companies tree services might want to use some of this lithium ion stuff because uh, it's lightweight to go up and uh, prune cut some limbs down and everything but this is probably not the saw if you're looking to do that with it again kind of long kind of large uh, and again uh, on the weight side of it probably the heaviest saw um, out there but it is the most powerful by far and again just um I can't say how impressed I am with it, you know, and, and when I talk about it, I always have to go back and say, this is an 18 volt chainsaw, you know, um, we're, I'm, I'm, I'm comparing it to the Makita and the, the, the wall, you know, a 36 volt, uh, the, uh, the wall is a 60 volt. It's a flex volt. Obviously it's a 16 inch, um, 60 volt or 54 volt, but chainsaw and just shocking that an an 18 volt chainsaw can do better than a 60 volt um and obviously it's not all about you know volts you know volts and everything but it's just a great saw guys i don't want to talk too long here but milwaukee will have a review on it but very impressed with it um we'll go over the features and all that stuff in an upcoming video shortly Peace.